Welcome to episode number 23 of my Press Room Street. We're here at my base, and as you can tell, I have got a Christmas search back on, and it is looking absolutely gorgeous. It is wonderful, honestly, I'm loving it right now. But one of my favorite things as well, actually, is my such a story, I guess. It's a spruce leaves. Look at these spruce leaves, they look absolutely wonderful. Little baubles, and it's, oh, it's, it's really nice. Oh. <laughs> I had silk touch on my sword for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why you put silk touch on your sword, but there you go. <laughs> All these red chests, the animals like to hat them. It was even wonderful with invisible um, you know, item phrase that had chili items were actually nice. I love the furnace, look at the texture pack on that. Oh, it's all animated as well. Also, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, all the dyes are a bit weird, as you can see. And if you look around, you'll see some weird dyes. There's some gem fur, but that's too me. Um, also, look as well, I'm sure. Um, it's pretty stored. I'm pretty sure I don't know about all the other ones, but look, they're quite neat. I'm looking to put a reef on it as well. I don't think anything in here has changed. Um, but yeah, nice to look around as well at some point, but yeah, you can see most of the dyes have changed. Also, you can probably hear my voice. Not feeling well today, unfortunately, but I just want to crack on the record because I'm looking forward to everything. Oh, these cocoa beads. Oh my goodness, mate. Look at that. Oh, baubles. I love that. That's, that is wonderful. That's wonderful. Right, let's put Fishkin Joey back. I haven't used Fishkin Joey in a while, but um, definitely be using. I, actually, yeah, I kind of used them a little bit ago, but you know, I leave um, fish nowadays. It's like I'm using mending books, which is unfortunately not too long ago that happened as well. Just looking around here and you can probably tell the issue with this text pack considering it is for 1.11.2. You, you know there's many issues but I'm surprised there's only one issue with it and that's the grass and it does look a bit weird but there you go it's better than, better than other things getting messed up but you know what small price to pay, pay for a wonderful text pack isn't it? You can see all, this, all the graphics one like got snow on as well oh it's lovely. <laughs> and the slime is blue as well, so when you go, when I, when I go to Camino, I can show you a huge shock of crazy just slime around here, it just looks wonderful, doesn't it? It is nice, the different kind of colours of leaves as well, the birch leaves can be different colour and autumn colour as well. It's, I think it would be nice just to have like, different coloured leaves in the game, because right now they're all green pretty much. Like, you've got like greens and like snowy whites and then got um these like brown seasonal leaves wonderful honestly i wish we had that in the normal game i can see got some other things as well um most of the stuff here quite a lot of stuff here is actually like candy cane themed but i'm sure cane as well it's all spruce chat with mini um christmas tree and please cook it where actually it's dump them off in this chest honestly I, my, my chest are completely not a mess I mean, it's just having those books around there, it's like, but honestly, great book, I need to get my tool back as well. Anyway, um, in terms of the this episode, since it's a Christmas episode, do some Christmassy stuff, so I'm going to do lots of stuff like, uh, I'm going to make a Christmas tree at Camino, we're going to set up a secret Santa, and then do the secret Santa, I'll, I'll let people know in Discord that's around, and I can put their names in if, they don't, if they're not available to come on. And all that as well. Also, I think we might put up some stockings as well, help me get some presents. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Pretty much those first two ones are main thing, like secret site around Christmas trees can be pretty fun. So I'm gonna go meet you at the you know, with some resources and we can make a Christmas tree because last time I made a Christmas tree at Nintend, it just didn't go well honestly. So I'm gonna need to do some practices like oh goodness me, I have my rocket so I was like ah also this morning I managed to reach one million blocks um in up the wild level, not on this world, I've seen a creative world. By using um, a technique that Rover, I don't know if he invented it, but he, he showed off where he had like the command block with like the creepers and stuff. Actually, yeah, so they like propelled me to fear and I got some, a million blocks of Y levels. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. I'm going to meet you over Camille and we can set up a Christmas tree together. You're over Camille. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm now over at Camille with a load of resources here. We've got a whole truck of boxes of spruce leaves, a ton of spruce wood, a bit more extra, and some gems and some stuff like that. So yeah, as you can see um, as well, it's a bit in the wood around here with all the, <laughs> the grass, but there is some beef going down on us, so we'll look at this. I think I thought there was the glitch going on, but no, look, look at this. This shop is expensive. The shop over here has a lot of prices, and it's the same shop, literally the exact same shop. Uh, I think uh, apparently it's JLR, so that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Also, Goodness me, it is a bit ridiculous. Luckily, it's only four an episode. It's one. It's only four an episode. So yeah, I think here is the place we're gonna set up as well. And I did ask Rob if we could set up the gem villager, which like gets kind of diamonds for gems, so we can just get gems easier. Because I don't have that many gems actually. Only them embossing once. So yeah. Um. Right. Let's. I'm um, just make sure it already isn't set up. So no, it isn't set up. 
Well, um, gem trader. Ooh, that's a bit weird. Um, wait, try that again. Look at that. A bit strange. Anyway, so yeah, no gen video yet. I did ask Rover if you could set that up. He's, I don't know, he hasn't responded yet, but hopefully that will be able to get set up so we can add some more on in a later date. But on with the Christmas tree. So yeah, I think we're going to start off just with the main kind of base of it. So I think here it should be like. Right, I'm just gonna get this like <laughs> it's a bit of a rough tree, all right, okay, all right, there we go. There we go. Come on, all right. And then I just think we'll do like that. And what 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 one should we do? What one should we I think we'll go to this one and then go up about I don't know what height we'll go to go to about mm, I don't know. All right. Try that that's, that's that's a good height for now, I think, but then we can always change it in the future and again I haven't used my new screws so look logs here so I think we can go use a little bit more get some bit of extra stuff going on in here there we go lovely absolutely lovely right quite a nice beefy tree there actually um so yeah I think you might actually um have any dirt on me oh, I don't, never mind I need to do some scaffolding so yeah I think that's kind of like going to be like the main basis for the tree um looks quite nice actually you know um also gold it's just stars quite cool actually this is the um, event tomorrow, so that's where all like, the event winners will go. So I'm not going to say anything about that, but <laughs> you might be going to be shopping here more than that shop now. <laughs> all right, okay, so I'm going to go um, put on the leaves and I'll get back to you when I've done that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I've now completed the secret Santa over here, and I know I'm a raccoon. Don't judge people, don't judge. Um, right, so, how I, so pretty much this is a tree, right? It's looking absolutely wonderful right now. Really pretty tree, got like the nice kind of Christmassy colour tinsel with like the green and the oop, that's it's the wrong button. The green and the kind of red tinsel with all like the, the gem baubles as well, looking very, very snazzy. So kind of idea here is I actually haven't read this because Rubber's changed it since. So this will be the first time for both of us, right? Welcome to Mathcraft Season 3 Secret Santa. So join the game, rename a piece of paper of your name and place it in the dispenser to your right. On the 24th of December, after 12 pm GMT, you may draw a name for the dispenser using the button. <laughs> if you draw your own name, put it back and redraw. There is an optional extra naughty or nice which you may use if you wish to decide whatever your receiver will get. Merry Christmas. Well there you go, people. There you go. That's the secret Santa. So I think to kind of show you um what's going on right now um pen this is my name right and we're gonna go like this okay um i'm gonna put my name in remember that it's my name <laughs> okay and we're gonna go hop over all oh, right okay now i need to pick my receiver so so i can so for example i get dragon and if drag is dragon or you're nice and dragon has been naughty so i'd it'd be naughty for dragon and we'll put obviously put his name back in um, but there you go so yeah that's kind of the idea of a secret site, if you didn't know. But before I do anything else, I wanted to show you a few clips we recorded um, um late, last night, which was um, with JLR. Um, he, he's been calling some rather some trouble with his shop. Unfortunately, he has changed it by where he used to say one dime for 10 stacks, and it was one dime for 9 to 10, 10 stacks. It was, it's just been crazy, pretty much. But yeah, Robertor owned the most prices, obviously. I don't think JLR would have made any sales now. But yeah, there's been a bit of um, a war going on with the gunpowder shop, yeah. We went, so six of us went over to JLR's base and we pranked him. So yeah, um, I'm going to roll the clips now. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll meet you back with some more stuff. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. I officially did that. He's displaying it, that's good. Yeah, he's probably okay because... Can I anyone find a bed? Oh, hold I just see Wolf Swat just oh, running. No. Oh, no, I have a he took my diamond toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right. Wait for Fishy to sleep and we're just gonna have to um I have my hands. <laughs> Close oh, my goodness. take oh. any damage. Oh god. Right, I'll I'll lay up the place just so he's not like next to him. I no, don't stand too close because you might sweeping edge. That would yeah, that would be even worse. <laughs> I don't I don't have a sword, I only have a axe. Probably not worth standing too close, but Fishy. She's getting... Oh, I knocked his bed. <laughs> Wait. Just, just oh, pretend. Just, the ball. The ball. I'll okay. just keep going. Right, come on. Right, okay. I'm coming with more blocks. I don't know what Rip on my eyes. Let's get him on the ice. Have a right. Bring um, aboard the DLR. Come on. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Right, this... Frank, I think I've seen in a lot. 
I will fuck a little bit. Oh, bring him through there, too. Yeah, let's just go to the communal lobby. I'm not going to say shop. We're here back now. <laughs> yeah, I'll seem to be climbing up the stairway to heaven, it seems. Are we just gonna put him on the roof? taking him. I think I'm gonna put him on the roof, actually, yeah. Um, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm see gonna leave Fishy to do what I want. We do too. It has taken six Omathons to move you here. Don't try mm -hmm. to. Undercut <laughs> Rover again. Nobody's looking. Oh, you both cactus nice. I was trying to sign up to you. Um, that sounded really good. <laughs> that hit no, no, I, I got it. There we go. Um, yeah. Thanks. Go. <laughs> right, um, the last one to say actually. Um, <laughs> it's not brilliant. worth it. Oh, we promise. Um, don't try to get, don't try to undercut Rome again. Right, oh okay, dear, so what a mess. Side and side I'm Rokun as well. Hey there, Joe, <laughs> maybe one why you're here. We do too. Um, then we have it's taken six Omathon to move you here. Ah, fell, fallen off. Um, let me oh, keep sorry, fishy. There we go. Oh, jeez. I I can't can't bounce. I think no, my keyboard's back. It's back again. Um, the third sign says, "Don't try to undercut Rover again. It's not worth it. We promise." <laughs> and I just broke that sign, which oh, and I've done it to that one as well. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, where should we put this little thing here? Ow! Is she? I was, it was an accident. Okay, fishy, it was an accident. Fishy, what are you doing? <laughs> you can hear. Ooh. Is that a punch I don't know. Sassy. Oh, great. Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that prank. It was one of the silly ones, but definitely um, a very fun one. Also, um, I've gathered some uh, gold here. I'll explain why, but I think I want to add a little star on top of the tree in a sec. Um, in a sec, if I can grab some. I don't think, you know what we, I mean, we bought this. It's our gold, we can take it. Um, so yeah, whilst I'm grabbing this, I'll go explain why I have gold. So pretty much we went and raiding a sec a bit ago. Um, because of the new people on the server, well, not, not new people, Bovine and um, Watson Lyke, just so we went, and so did um, Shadow, so we went out and got them in a Lyke and all that, went end busting and all that, so yeah, <laughs> a lot of exciting stuff going on there. That's why I managed to get some gems and a bit of extra iron and stuff, I only managed to, I only raided like one end city, but I managed to get them in a Lyke drill, which is nice for them, um, which means <laughs> literally they've been on the server for, literally Ch Shadow's been on the server for two days, he already has like diamond armour and an electric, so. <clears throat> Definitely, if you ever want to join the server, join later on because it's always, it's definitely the best time to join. Also, um, over here I want to go um tell you some stories about what's been going on because there's been some exciting stories to tell you. Def definitely, so I'm going to sit on top of the crack and then tell you some nice stories. So if you can sit by, make a fire, maybe not light the fire, but if you've got a log fire, just log fire and crackle it up. <laughs> Um, go grab a drink and some food <laughs> for a bit of a story, but there you go. So, um, pretty much what's going on in the end is I just, I probably had one of the scariest experiences in my life, right? Okay, so the end void, right? It is scary, okay, especially the one between the kind of the outer islands and the end kind of normal island where you fight the dragon stuff. It is disorientating, it's scary. At one point I was like, why 22? At another point I was like, why 1,100? I didn't know what way out of direction I was going, but as you can probably tell, I managed to get there safely, but unfortunately, um, my fellow, well, currently my fellow, I don't even know I'm wearing a raccoon skin, a rover, unfortunately perished, I wasn't there, but um, I managed to hear in the voice call just him screaming and get raging. 
um, something. So I'd obviously um, assume that he'd die. So unfortunately, Marvel did perish. Um, so yeah. F in the comments, be F in the comments. But yeah, so unfortunately, um, Rover did perish in the end. Not very good, but there you go. Poor Rover, he, he was a good sort. <laughs> right, so let's all go ahead over here because we've got a couple new chops I want to show you. So here, first of all, we've got Zyrotix and um, Woodchop. Um, here we've got Oak Leaves, which I already bought a few stacks of Oak Leaves. I'm actually going to have them in here, actually, yeah. Um, all the stuff I managed to get. So here we've got <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three. Stacks of stuff, so yeah, we've got a lo load of extra uh, custom breeds. Well, honestly, I, I who doesn't love a wood chop on a server? And again, we've got this as well. But, um, the other uh, wood, so yeah, that's my rock chop, a lovely chop, but definitely great having a wood chop on the server. And so, it's been very, really, it's been active. We had about seven people on today, we had about seven or eight on yesterday. It's just been fun, active times on the server. <laughs> It's always nice when new people come, but yeah, this is Nintendo shop. Um, I did come around here and change it to bovine there, so you know we'll, we'll be a nice citizen of the server, and we're going to go change it back. <coughs> oh, whoops, um, to a Nintendo. Head. There we go. Be nice. <laughs> right. Um. So here, I don't know. I've never been here, so it's our first time we get here. Drop off cookies for Santa for a gift. Okay. Which have a Henny cookies actually. Um, I'm pretty sure it's renamed to biscuits in my in the English version of the stuff here. Um, two diamonds for one stack of Christmas. Was, um, do I need this? I don't know if I actually need this. Um, you know what? If I don't. I've got a good plan for my secret sound or whatever it is actually, but I don't think I'll be needing any of this. So unfortunately, we'll be needing any of that. Um, one over three stacks of snow. Um. <laughs> to even have three stacks of snow. Um, and two diamonds for three stacks of pumpkins, two diamonds for one stack of pumpkins. I can't pumpkins. Um, I don't think that, um, yeah, there's not even three stacks of pumpkins, and there's not even two stacks of hard pumpkins. So, <laughs> Nintendo, you need to stock your shop. If there's one thing Nintendo is very good at, it's stocking your shop. He always has like two diamonds for one stack or something like that. I don't, you know what? I don't, think, I don't think he ever like fully stocked his coral shop. We can check Nintendo's coral shop up, see if he's actually stocked it, right? Let's see. One diamond for one stack of coral, and um, there's three, two, okay, two diamonds. You know what? He's actually stopped um, some of these, which is unlike Nintendo people. And um, what? Two diamonds for one stack of crowns. Again, he's done stuff that. But yeah, um, so yeah, I think for the rest of the episode, I'm going to go head back. Unfortunately, since it's going to be on um, 24th, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I hopefully I'll try my best to get into this episode if I run out of time, I run out of time because this is pretty obvious, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully try and get this episode out for Christmas Day or Boxing Day, depending on whatever. Um, I don't know. I'll decide later on. So yeah, I think I'm gonna head back to my base now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I might either make a house or something like that, or a, like a little elf or a chimney in my thing and just hang out some stockings and put some lights around it, make it all look nice as well for the end of the episode. So yeah, let's go fly back to my base. Oh, I just threw, I just threw my sword away, which was also very good of me. So you know what? I'm going to try and find my sword, which isn't going to be very fun. Um, hello, sword. Hello. Um, oh dear. It's, it's not fun as well, is it? It's something like dropping your sword in midair and losing it. So yeah, I'm going to try... We'll look at my sword and meet you back at the base, and we can start talking about some stuff we've got planned for the rest of the episode. Yeah, I'll see you then. Well, I've had a bit of a change of part, um, so we're here over here at communal now, and my kind of thought was, you know what, it's 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 twenty fourth now, and we're we're allowed to draw the names. So I just thought probably a good idea just to come over here and draw the name, um, because I just thought better just do it later instead of um now because it'd just be fun to do it all now who who has stripped my tree oh, sake. honestly right here we go people i'm gonna do it live on camera make sure there's no, no names in the hopper first as well because that's the case it's put on a fair we can make sure just triple check good no names in the hopper right here we go three two one all right who is it oh we got rover we got rover oh goodness me right has Rover been naughty or nice? Oh, he's been nice. Never mind, never mind, right? Oh, see, I had an idea for my secret chat, right? It's the same idea I've had all along. So I was like, right, whoever I get, I'm doing this. So, um, pretty much what I've been planning, right, is, um, sure, it may not be Christmassy, but I don't, I'm not good at building sleighs, people. I'm just not good at building sleighs. So instead of building a sleigh, we're going to build an aircraft. Um, flying over Rover's base, dropping off presents in a parachute. Because why not? I mean, honestly, why not? What's wrong with that, people? <laughs> also, I literally don't know where my ender chest is gone. 
that is my end chest. Um, I literally don't know where I left it. Um, hmm, I obviously left my end chest somewhere, but where I do not know. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to go on a search for my end chest. Um, unless I do that, um, I'm gonna just gonna go meet you over at Rebel's base, and we can initiate with the secret Santa. So after a couple minutes of panicking, I managed to locate my sword, thankfully to the fact I had the clip recorded and I could look back into the footage and find where I dropped it, which was honestly, I was so scared because I just couldn't be bothered to make another sword, honestly. I made at least five swords this season and I didn't want to make a six. <laughs> so yeah, the kind of idea I've had for the thing is either to A, build outside of this, like, of the site perimeter um, and make and then make it a normal cabin or build it inside and make it a bandit. I'm kind of leading towards... Um, building it kind of around here and making it just a normal cabin with like a chimney poking out a bit of smoke. I think it looked really nice actually, so that's probably what we're going to go with. But um, you'll, you'll probably see in the next clip where I've decided and I built it. So yeah, I'm going to go build the cabin, I'll meet you back and I'll just, and you can see what it looks like. So yeah, I'll see you then. Hello everyone and welcome back. I've now created the secret Santa over here and I know I'm a raccoon. Don't judge people, don't judge. Um, right, so... How I, so pretty much this is a tree, right? It's looking absolutely wonderful right now. Really pretty tree. Got like the nice kind of Christmassy colour tinsel with like the green and the oops, that's it's the wrong button. The green and the kind of red tinsel with all like the, the gem baubles as well. Looking very, very snazzy. So kind of idea here is I actually haven't read this because Rob has changed it since. So this will be the first time for both of us, right? Welcome to the Mathcraft Season 3 Secret Santa. So join the game, rename a piece of paper of your name, and place it in the dispenser to your right. On the 24th of December, after 12pm GMT, you may draw a name for the dispenser using the button. <laughs> if you draw your own name, put it back and redraw. There is an optional extra naughty or nice, which you may use if you wish to decide whatever your receiver will get. Merry Christmas. Well, there you go, people. There you go. That's the Secret Santa. So, I think to kind of show you... Um, what's going on right now um pretend this is my name right and we're gonna go like this okay um i'm gonna put my name in remember that is my name <laughs> okay and we're gonna go hop over all oh, right okay now i need to pick my receiver so second so for example i get dragon and if drag is dragon or nice and dragon has been naughty so i'd it'd be naughty for dragon and we'll put obviously put his name back in um, but there you go so yeah that's kind of the idea of a secret Santa, if you didn't know. But before I do anything else, I wanted to show you a few clips we recorded um, um, late, last night, which was um, with JLR. Um, he, he's been calling some, run some trouble with his shop. Unfortunately, he has changed it by way. He used to say one dime for 10 stacks, and it was one dime for 9 to 10, 10 stacks. It's, it's, it's been crazy, pretty much. But yeah, Robotor owns the most prices, obviously. I don't think JLR would have made any sales, no. But yeah, there's been a bit of um, a war going on with the gunpowder shop, yeah. We went, so six of us went over to JLR's base and we pranked him. So yeah, um, I'm going to roll the clips now. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll meet you back with some more stuff. Right, we're here at Rubber's base now and we're ready for the secret Santa. So my idea kind of for the thing was to have like a plane um, and it's going to be dropping down parachutes which are present. So I don't know, I don't, honestly, I've never built a plane in Minecraft before, so I kind of built like planes, but like flying planes, so I just thought I'd save my save time and just copy the plane that Sky use um, in Hermitcraft, um, because I honestly can't be bothered to design a plane right now, honestly. It's, it's a lot of work, and I just think it'd be it's not too hard of a design, I don't think, so I can get it done pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, is, I've set myself up just above um, Rover's base here. I'm not going to show you tonight. Um, if you want to see the prep, what I'm going to get Rover, um, you, you're going to have to wait until later on in the video, um, because I'm not going to show that yet, I'm going to show that after, All right, so, so you have to stay tuned for that, Rover's online right now, so, I'm waiting for him to, you know, I'm going to ask him a question, like, working on the town hall, something like that, and he'll hopefully he'll reply, so, let's try and see if we can bait him, right, okay, working at... Communal. If he says um no, oh never mind. Just end with that, right? What you doing then? I 
you can bait him into this one, see if he it as bait or not. For this information. Okay, okay. So, secret. Obvious. <laughs> okay, right. I'm gonna take a risk, people. I'm gonna hope that Robert is not at his base, right? So, we get building now. Okay, I'm gonna go and pick up an area and um, have to go and mine some. Also, I did get my travel back, but I don't have enough levels to name it yet. But there you go. My travel is back. So, it doesn't need my axe now, which wouldn't take long at all. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna go. Oh, oh I shouldn't have showed you that. Well, you, well, there you go. You managed to see a brief second of it. I can't walk you through it though. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up my stuff and I'm going to pick a place for this to be, and I'll be back when I've got some scaffolding down, and we can start building it. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I decided to just start the plane a little bit, just to kind of get you an idea. Um, here it is right now. Um, you've probably seen it before, um, because um, Scar built it um, in Hermitcraft, but just, again, I've, I've just started the kind of the, like, the actual cube bit. Um, I'm pretty sure Rover's off doing a secret Santa right now, so hopefully we can try and get this done as soon as quick as possible. Sorry. <laughs> And I'm going to do a bit of a, I don't know, I'm, I actually I was going to do a slip of timeouts because, but, the thing is, right, look, I'll show you, because in here I've got the video loaded up, right, but then that will kind of show some, like, weird bars on the video, so I don't think I'm going to do a third, but first person timeout, so I think we're just going to do some progress updates instead, but yeah, I'm going to keep looking on this and get, trying to get the outside done a bit, not the tail and the, the front, but just that, and then I'll meet you back when I've done that. Hello everyone, welcome back, um, I've now completed the kind of outer shellish bit, um, and it's looking quite nice actually, it's making the thing look a little bit bigger than it actually is you do with the little stairs, slabs, um, it actually makes it look bigger than the one by one kind of little small thing it is. So yeah, it's looking quite nice, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get organized and I'll meet you back when we finish that, the full out shell, so you can work with the nozzle and the tail, so yeah, I'll see you then. Hello everyone and welcome back, I've now finished the full exterior of the plane, so it is looking wonderful right now, honestly, look at this just majestic plane, soaring through the sky, heading to rover space, honestly, if I ever need a plane size, this is one I'm always going to use, unless, unless I need a bigger one, obviously, but still, this plane is wonderful, I'm, I know the design isn't mine, but it's it's but obviously made by the wonderful Good Times with Scar, but it's still looking absolutely glorious, and... And I built it, so it still counts as my one technically, but <laughs> oh, all that matters is it looks wonderful in the end, you know. So yeah, um, this is what it looks like right now. It's just saying to you the, 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 the tail plane, the cockpit slash the, the nozzle or whatever um, at the front here. I'm actually quite happy with how the design turned out. It's looking really nice actually. Everything's looking wonderful. Actually, I didn't have any cobwebs because I'm um, they're all at my base still, and I just couldn't well go back and get them just for a small little touch because cobwebs are quite rare, and I don't really want to use them all up. Sorry, remember, but it is true my cobwebs are very fresh. So yeah, I'm gonna go work on the kind of the parachuting person. It's gonna be like what's well, not a person, but like just a pro like the kind of I don't know. I don't know how to describe. It's kind of like um you know when the, the UN or whatever they kind of drop like parcels in with like a parachute and that kind of like resources or whatever that's kind of what it's going to look like i've got some wool and some sticks benches here and i've got the red box moment here which is rover's, rover's path which is being delivered by plane so yeah i'm gonna go and finish that off and i'll meet you back when it's done hello everyone and welcome back um i'm not happy right now as you can tell so the end of the clip i was just flying around getting ready to build the parachute and then my wings broke of course, um, I went over to Rover's Strand Farm because it's the nearest place to get XP from. Um, so I could mend up my electron tools just so I could fly again and start building a parachute. But um, when I, when I finish um, doing it, when you reactivate your electron, it just like kind of bounces and stuff. You know, I had the biggest lag spike when it happened. No idea what happened. My game froze when I tried to move. I kind of moved in midair into a hole next to the farm. Behind that hole, it happened to have lava. Um, and I fell in, I just tried my very, very best to get out, but I had my armour off because I was trying to mend my elytra, I, I, I was sad, no chance, and I died, I'm losing everything, including the parcel, I mean, I hate to, I hate to say it, but this has to be in the episode, people, um, I'm so sorry to Rover and whoever's watching about this, but I just simply cannot get myself back. Um, considering it's Christmas Eve, I, I just physically can't go through that process again of getting through my getting my stuff back um, on Christmas Eve. It's just so much work, and it's just I, I just couldn't put up with it. So um, unfortunately, that's going to be the end. So people, I'm sorry, Rover, I, I couldn't finish your present. I'm sorry, there's going to have to be 
all this stuff laying up here because I don't have a pickaxe, so I can't pick this up. So it just it has to stay here. Um, I'm just gonna log off now and uh, and get this video ready out for Christmas Day or Boxing Day or whatever or later today. But um, I'm just gonna have a rest of the Christmas. Um, I don't think there's any episode on Friday. Sorry, um, but it's just. I, I've never looked, it's probably the worst moment in, my, in Minecraft I've had this year. I've never lost my stuff before Christmas, in, literally on Christmas Eve in this state, but, um, when I've got all mending on stuff and literally got the perfect tools and all that. And I had my gift to Rover, which had a mending book in, which is just awful, honestly. I'm so sorry this happened to Rover, but I'm not happy either, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I hate to end the Christmas episode on a depressing note, but there you go. So yeah, I'm just going to log off for Christmas, and I'll see you whenever um, I've just recovered and I'm ready to record again. So yeah, I'll see you there.